the dead of night. Ugh. A lot of corn, haven't they? A lot of corn. Back on Herschel's land. Herschel's land. <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. I'm pretty sure he could have died if we actually left at night. I think he would have been a zombie, but I'm not. I don't know. Thank God you're okay. I played this game multiple I was times. Be bad here too. But I've still. as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I'm still too unsure about that. Back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Play him as that tough guy we all know. Not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What uh, did you say your name was? You never asked, but it's Lee. It's Lee. Everett. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Macon cooks the best bacon. And I was with the police officer. I was with the police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A dead cup crawling on the ground, a girl with her gut spilled out, a man run over, and dead people walking. Just go with that. Chased by a couple of dead people. Yeah. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Nice. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Sleep time. Sleep time. <laughs> Any sleepy person can be a zombie. It smells like. Can look like one. You can say shit. Manure. Manure. Manure? 
Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Oh yeah. Such a deep voice. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Nightmares. Always the nightmares. They always get you. Hey, get up. Worst times is when it's the apocalypse. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, yes, you are, Kenny. Fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. It's Kenny. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Thanks, Katya. I remember all your names. I will never forget. All right, let's go speak to to Kenny. Good old Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do Just you says... need any help? Oh, never mind. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nope. No kids. Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. So yeah, I was saying, like, it says that all you need to go and speak to everyone. You, you, you don't. You really don't. But you get more of... You get more story, I guess. Out of it. I'm, I don't know. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and... We just passed people over some, just, just 
Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? He wouldn't. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. Love barbecues. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. I used to. Not anymore. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, I thought we, had to, we could speak to... Oh, they have a well here. I've never noticed that. Well, it's a farm. Why wouldn't you? Although, if you've seen the show, obviously the farm is much bigger than, than in this. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! You I'm do that, Duck. Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> Alright, speak to- yeah, we can speak to him, alright. Hey, Lee. You need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Hmm. I bashed some girl's brains in. Bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. Then I'm just you'll glad die. we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You're not hitting anything, hey, Sean, dude. <laughs> thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I'm trying to think of Herschel quotes they said in the show, but he didn't really say anything, did he? He was just like the the old. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm going this way. Huh? He was just like the old wise man. That's what Herschel was. Yeah, he don't. I don't really think he had many quotes, did he? He said that like grandpa look and grandpa voice, and just said the things people wanted to hear. But I don't know. I don't know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? 
Hmm. The sheep's saying that they're all in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked. She came to my rescue. No, I just, yeah. I was, yeah. I was looking I was... for help in her house. That doesn't sound sketchy at all. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Okay. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! He's gonna get his gun. Hacker. Uh, it, uh, the, the kid. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, falcon punch right to the face. Blew his head clean off. That uh, is so cool. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! Um... I thought I could help them both, even though you couldn't. <laughs> I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Got that ride to make it if you want it. Hmm. Yeah, Sean dies uh, no matter what. If you, if you go to say, because he's, he's just stuck in there, if you go and save him, uh, he says about he says a few things to Herschel, then he dies, and then Herschel isn't pissed at you, he's just pissed at Kenny. So it really, it, it didn't matter, but eh. Get on Kenny's good side. It, you you want to go on Kenny's good side. Because Kenny is bae. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! You went Blam, blam, my trucker. Run! Dead eye. Nice shot.
Pretty neato. Pretty neato. <laughs> we can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Where are the subtitles? And we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I go mm. out there again in a second. I bet you. Uh, in a minute. In a minute, Clem. Not now. <laughs> <We've got laughs> what are you kids, doing? Really? Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, uh... it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. It's either duck. him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's his Do son. You? You're not fucking acting like it. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. Okay, then. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking at Oh, you're not the bad dog. guy. <laughs> no, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does. Your subtitles are red. You're evil. First thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then. There'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. I hate you, Larry. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Uh no. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Get up, Lee! Oh no. Getting a bit handsy there. No. No, 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 no. Watch oh, cheating. Watch <laughs> cheating. That right there is winning. <laughs> That's winning. You okay? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. That's great. great, thanks. Uh, guys? They're gonna get in. Shut up.
Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Shut up. Uh, uh, uh. You're smart. <laughs> I told him to calm down, but... I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? Ooh. It's his heart. My pills. Yeah, shut up, Lily. Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Um, through the office? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Sounds good. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. <laughs> he looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> Lazy looking ass.